<laughs> Surreal? Terra? Fear. Fear of the worst possible outcome. Death of our beautiful boy. It was so difficult being there with your own child, supporting him and hearing the agony of the other children around you. My name's Jennifer Hamilton and I have two sons, Kai, who's almost 13, and Leonardo, we call him Leo, and he's three. Leo's abdomen was becoming distended around the time that we were transitioning him to solid food. And he'd become a little quieter, and we thought, is this his personality? But on Christmas Eve, we were told that it was a diagnosis of cancer, and it had spread through his lungs. My first questions to the doctors were, what have I missed? What did I do wrong? Why didn't I pick this up earlier? I knew that Christmas Day was the next day. I had all the presents wrapped and ready to go. I knew there was a lot that we had to think through, but initially we just had to pack our bags and all four of us get to the hospital. At home, we had to administer medication. There were at least 20 doses around the clock. And it had to be timed perfectly. We had to change his nappies and be fully gloved when we did it because it's toxic. He didn't get to make friends like his brother did at the same age. He didn't get to see other children his age and mimic them and learn from them. But yeah, reflecting back, I just think, oh, you poor baby. So hard, so hard for him. Having a CVL or a central venous line meant that Leo couldn't be fully immersed in water for almost 18 months. We went to Treasure Island on the Gold Coast and it was the first time that Leo had been in a public water play area. Oh, my heart was warmed. It gave me that, that sense of happiness that we've moved into a new stage of our life. It will be really lovely to see a lot of those families and especially the children in an environment that is focused on laughter, fun, and perhaps you might even make some, some friends and not feel as isolated as we have. By donating to Camp Quality, you are really helping people in crisis who need some glimmer of hope, something fun to do to get them out of that really dark space that a cancer journey can become. <laughs>